surgeon. So, does popping knees mean you have arthritis, or what does it mean? Well, not always, Dr. Fox. So, sometimes popping knees, if it's not causing you pain, can be just a normal symptom, nitrogen in the joint. But uh, if it's associated with pain, it could be something more serious. So, if you do have pain, it could be arthritis, and that's, that, that's a big thing. It could be something else. How do you know if you have arthritis? That's a great question. There's a, a lot of different ways to diagnose arthritis. Um, if you feel like you might have arthritis, really common in typically the people 50 and older, uh, but some people can have a strong genetic history of it. Uh, but if you feel like you might have arthritis, I would recommend you come see your family doctor or they can refer you to an orthopedic surgeon. And uh, usually the most reliable way to diagnose that is an x-ray. Now, what, what might be some of the symptoms that say, uh, maybe I better get this looked at? Well, the, um, the, the number one symptom is pain. So pain, especially one pain that limits your activity uh, and uh, some popping and grinding and some things in, if your joint's making some sounds, you, you may want to get that checked out. What are some risk factors for getting arthritis? The well, like, like I alluded to, there's a strong genetic component. Uh, sometimes weight uh, is a risk factor for it. Uh, if you've had any prior injuries to your joint, that can be a risk factor as well. Okay. Now you mentioned weight. I've heard that every one pound you lose is like four pounds off your knee. Is that true? Uh, weight loss certainly helps people with uh, with arthritic knees. Uh, certainly, uh, it can lead to your <clears throat> joints wearing down uh, faster. But one of the one of the ways that we treat arthritis is activity modification, and part of that is weight loss, and it certainly helps people feel better. Now you mentioned activity, and we talked about New Year's resolutions and losing weights, which helps the joints. But you got to be active to maybe burn some calories. Is there any certain activity that you want to, don't want to do to, that would hurt your knees? Yeah, it's, it's one of those catch-22 situations because you're, you're going to tell someone with arthritic knees to go lose weight, and, uh, but they're, not all activities are, are going to be beneficial. And so you really want to choose low-impact activities. So walking, walking on a treadmill, uh, elliptical machine, stationary bike, uh, anything in a pool, those are typically very, very good for arthritic joints. Jogging, high impact activity tends to, to make those symptoms worse. Okay, now you, you, we talked a little about diet, we talked a little about exercise. How about medicines to, to, to treat? Right, so one of the first things that uh, if you come see your doctor, they diagnose you with arthritis um, and they're gonna recommend some activity modification. If that doesn't do the trick, then um, very often either your regular doctor or an orthopedist will uh, start you on anti-inflammatory. There are lots of different ones out there. I think it's important just to find one that works for you. But you don't just want to take it and not be followed uh, because it can, there are some side effects associated with them that you need to uh, be aware of. You mentioned uh, side effects, kidney and stomach. Uh, but if you can take the medicine, tolerate and it works pretty good, that's okay. But assuming the medicine doesn't work, are there some injections or other things that you can do? Yes, so if, uh, typically if you come into the office and we put you on an anti-inflammatory for six weeks, four to six weeks, uh, and that fails to give you symptomatic relief, typically we're going to offer an injection, either of cortisone or cortisone-like material or a cushioning type uh, injection. Cortisone is really good for flare-ups, acute flare-ups, or if you're planning to be very, very active going on a vacation or a trip, uh, cortisone shot can really help. Okay. So you failed the stunt steroids, you failed injections, you're still hurting, surgery is an option. Tell us about it. Surgeries, uh, typically uh, most surgeons uh, in most cases of arthritis are going to try these other things first. They're going to try activity modification, medication, injections, bracing, all these things. But when they fail to give you meaningful relief, um, surgery is, is usually the next recommendation. So arthroscopic surgery can be of some benefit, but typically in arthritis we're talking about it, either a partial or a complete joint replacement. So tell us, tell us a little bit about that. Recovery time, rehab, uh, right. who's a candidate? Well, this is a, this is a very, very um, busy time of year for the joint replacement business because people have met their deductibles, they've met their out-of-pocket maximum, so a lot of people are trying to get that in before the end of the year. So um, the typical recovery is going to be, uh, I tell my patients, allow for four to six weeks minimum. I think you're going to continue to recover after joint replacement for up to a year. Uh, but the first uh, four to six weeks are definitely, uh, uh, you need to allow yourself that time. That's great information. Let's